this operating system, Mojave. Uh, first thing we are going to look at is system preferences, and I'm going to go into general. Uh, Max finally give you a couple options to make it a little bit more appealing to you. You are used to the appearance light. Uh, you now have an option a little bit nicer on your eyes to choose the dark mode. You can also choose your accent colors if you wish. Uh, staying in system preferences, I'm going to back out and I'm actually going to click on dock. Down below here, you'll see that in my dock, I have two of these vertical lines. Uh, these items are things that I have recently used. These ones on my left are actually ones that I always want to have in my dock. So when I am in the dock system preferences, if I uncheck this, I have the ability to hide the ones that I do not want. You'll notice that two of them went away. Uh, this one stayed. I have a little white dot. It says that it's still running, uh, which is why I'm actually in it. So that's another nice little feature that has been added. Um, if you are familiar with your iPad, that's been there for at least one of the latest updates. And I'm going to back up from there. Next, the software updates now is no longer in the App Store. They actually have a software update here. Um, you're welcome to do your updates that are some of the basic ones. Right now it says I have one. Uh, this is some of the just updates for Mojave that I need to run. Uh, the only ones you cannot do if it's asked you, do you want to install Catalina? This is the newest operating system that's going to be available uh, later this fall. You don't want to do that. So that is kind of the new things that are in your system preferences. Um, there's some shortcut options that have been around, but those are the new ones. Next, we are taking a look at your desktop. Some of you are pack rats, we'll say, that like to throw everything on your desktop. It becomes really, really messy. What they have created now is something called Stacks, which is kind of a shortcut version of a folder. You'll notice that I only have three nice little icons. One's called Documents, Images, Movies. I can click on my images, and all of the images I actually have will open up, and then I can select which ones I want. Um, if I do not like that, and I like my old version of everything all over the place, I can uncheck. I did a two-finger click, use stacks. I uncheck that, and everything spaces out like you are like you are used to. I'm going to actually use stacks. You can actually organize this by if you want to have them by kind or a specific date created. If you happen to use tags kind of a convenient way, especially if students are using this, if they have algebra, um, any biology or anything else, they can actually tag them and be able to organize them that way. So kind of a nice option to clean up your desktop a little bit. Clicking over into Finder now. Um, not a dramatic change for most of you, but if you happen to use your various view options, they do have another one they've modified. It's called Gallery. This is helpful when Let's go to images. I can now see my picture, and then I can actually just show a little bit more information that I might not have seen otherwise. Uh, for people that do not know, you can actually, your item selected, you can actually press the space bar, and it shows you a larger preview version of this. Um, you can do markups right inside here if you wish. Uh, the nice thing about this, you don't actually have to take the time of actually having it open. When you're done, just hit the space bar again, and it goes away. So that's kind of another nice little option that is in Finder. The next thing that is really handy for people to take pictures using their iPad or their phone, um, and then they share it to their computer. Now you actually have the ability to two finger click. I want to import a picture from my phone. So I'm going to take a photo um, on my phone. It opens up the camera. I take my picture. I say use photo. And then the picture is going to be dropped onto my desktop, which is right there. Once again, I could mark it up if I wish or anything else. So that's kind of a handy little tool or tool. If you happen to take a picture and you want to quickly embed it into a keynote presentation pages or anything else like that, you actually should be able to do that right inside keynote and pages. So not having to do it from your desktop. The next thing we are going to take a look at is actually Safari. Uh, up until now, when you have multiple tabs, you do not get to see these little icons. Uh, Mojave now gives you that option. I'm going to go to Safari and Preferences. Under Tab, I am going to click on the Show Website Icons in Tabs. You'll see that now the website icons actually show. Kind of a handy little 
visual representation of where you are at with yours. The next thing to taking a look at is kind of a very handy feature. Um, most of you are familiar with how to do screenshots. The newest option to do screenshots is called Command Shift 5. And now you have a bunch of different options on the bottom. First one is you want to take a picture of your entire screen. Second one is taking a picture of just the window that you're going to be using. This is a portion of the window. And you also have two new options that are actually screen recordings. Um, can't see those right now because that's what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to actually take a capture selected window and I want to take a picture of the Safari window. You'll notice that it shows up as a little preview here. Um, you can actually drag this right now into a folder. Um, I don't want to do that. I actually just want to open it up to show that if you wish, you can actually annotate right over top of it. Um, if you see, I've never used annotation. If you have a really bad circle, they actually will fix it for you, which is kind of a nice little feature. So then I'm happy. Yep, I want to save it. And then it goes to your desktop more than likely. That is it for the Mojave updates. A couple other things you might not realize. Um, notes is kind of a really handy tool. For all the different websites that you happen to be having to have a password and everything else, you can actually set up a password. You can lock the note and then come up with whatever password that you have. This is really kind of a handy little thing, again, for various things that are not necessarily confidential, but things that you just don't want other people to have. So that's kind of a nice little option that has been around for quite a while in uh, the Mac operating system. Hopefully this helps and hopefully